Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It is Sunday and time for an update on my yarn adventures for the past week. So, let's get started. I'm going to be sharing with you some um, progress on cows that I am doing and a finished object and a couple of acquisitions. Let's get started. So, the first cow that I will share with you the progress of is luck of the draw number five with nan's next knots now i've said before um, that i am doing a rainforest reef theme which is my local area for my luck of the draw number five and they are my colors that i am to pick from and so far we've done a couple of weeks and i thought i would show you my progress so first week was what we call breakfast blue which i picked to represent part of the ocean the greens are the rainforest the canopy of the rainforest this blue which came out um second week which is i've got to remember cloud blue that was for the sky and then this week we had this one number three which is coral so I'm alternating the dark greens and I am doing a total of six rows. The um, project is a lapgan and it is the Sober Granny lapgan or baby blanket from Christrit Secret Yarnery. So that is my progress so far on luck of the draw number five. I really like the luck of the draw and um, yes, Sometimes I get impatient waiting for the numbers. I know quite a few people are doing it and I have been watching quite a few um, videos of Dana from Wonderlust Crochet and I like the idea that she is doing a random number of rows each week. So maybe for luck of the draw six, I might try that as a bit of a challenge. But yeah, make sure you check out her channel, Dana at Wonderlust Crochet. She's always a lot of fun. And her channel will be linked in the description below you can check out her luck of the draw whereas I'm doing a set um, six rows per week she's doing random rows and a different project so that is my first cow then I am also doing um, Zeta's calendar cow for 2022 I did last year's which was mainly cows but this year we can pick any project um, and just use the picture to inspire us from the calendar. So February's picture was a photo of Reggie from J Hook Crochet. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out her channel. It was a lot of greys and a bit of red. And I decided this year that I was going to do a tea cosy each month because I sell a lot of tea cosies. So are you ready for it? Da 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 da! This is February's tea cozies, the grey and the white of the picture. And this was the closest I could come to the red in the picture. Now, the grey and white is a Karen Simply Soft yarn. And the red is some random wool that I had in my yarn stock. I think it came from Janice with all the wool from um, Victoria last year. But I thought that was a great match. It is an owl tea cozy. This is a vintage pattern and Janice also sent me the pattern when I was chasing it. Now it's normally done in a three weight and I decided to use the four weight and I use the Karen Simply Soft called Soft Camo in the colorway Soft Snow Camo. So it's a camo yarn but it's snow camo and the red now if i was to make this owl tea cozy again which no doubt i will i will be using the three weight i found it quite stiff um, because you actually make two fronts two backs join them four eyes because it's front and back the little owl but i do like the way it turned out and the colorway but yes and i enjoyed doing this so thank you for the wool and the pattern janice won't be a moment i have just dropped my glasses <laughs> so that is my second cowl that i am doing and the third one was i wanted to improve my tunisian crochet so i'm doing jada in stitches tunisian crochet calendar cowl for 2022 and that was 
our first block the simple stitch which was uh, turned out fine now I have blocked these and they still keep wanting to curl for the border on each square I've decided to use the color petrol the yarn I am using is spotlight saver USA style yarn now February's turned out bigger for me mainly because I think I lost count of the rows and I haven't sewn the ends in yet um, watching this um, Winter Olympics and yes Tunisian crochet curls they have been blocked but they want to curl again it actually to me curls worse than knitting the fact that they have turned out different sizes doesn't worry me it's just really good practice with the Tunisian crochet hook um, and learning to use it and so far it's been fun so they are my three cows so acquisitions we're going to need to move Mr. Owl I was watching Mel from Mel um, crochet with Mel in Western Australia hi Mel and she showed an Addy knitting machine that she had bought from someone from a, a, I guess an online store in WA at a really reasonable price now it was early Saturday morning last week week before when I was watching it I've always wanted an Addy machine and I checked it out and yes I bought one so it smells fault I bought the Addy King Express it was a bargain it cost me about $242 Australian to get it here it was well packaged shipped promptly and it's arrived in really good condition I think that works out to about $175 US and that is a bargain she's right and I think she just put out a video of all the hats she's made I haven't used it yet when we unpacked it the first thing thing said oh it's a giant French knitting ring no it's not he goes that's what it reminds me of a French knitting ring when thing was little or a very small boy he used to like doing French knitting and he's never forgotten it and that's what he thought it was I'll just pause the video and put this down so no doubt we will finish unpacking that and set it all up and I'll have a go and I have a feeling thing might like a go because he still thinks it's a giant French knitting ring but it was a bargain and yes I told thing it was his fault because I got up early and I was bored and got online shopping so I spent money and it was Mel's fault because she told me where to shop no it's definitely what something I wanted and I'm not in a hurry to use it I have a lot of projects on the go but no doubt when I do make something I'll share them with you now I've lost my glasses so this week I had two days off my bosses have actually given me two days off um, because scholarships is quite full on for me and it's what we call just taking a bit of a break and the first day we went up to the Tablelands and of course I'm going to visit my little craft store and I didn't buy much I did buy a baby crochet rugs and, and shawls book um, that was $14 there's some beautiful shawls in there for babies and I bought a couple of balls of um, Sierra Payton's 8 ply in this colorway they don't have a color name on it I bought two this is actually quite a bargain up there to buy and that's why I got it I don't think it has a colorway on it it's just Peyton's eight ply 375 meters in a ball um, and it's 80% acrylic 20% wool the Australian yarn company and it's just color 3191 and yes I bought two of those such a bargain and I bought because it is such a bargain up there some sugar and cream in this color because I may be planning a small project in March to use that it's really quite expensive down here it's about six dollars 
a ball up on the Taylorlands and it's close to $9 a ball in cans. So yes, definitely worth it. We had a lovely day out with Saxon, having a look around the Tablelands, having lunch. And there was a little charity shop open called Salvation Army Charity Shop. And I had a look in there and I found a crocheted owl kit toy. It's a toy. All the yarn is in there, the pattern. And yes, I've got that. I'll either make the owl or I will use the lovely colours for something else. But that was $2 unopened in the charity shop. So that was my bargain for the day. So guys, they are my acquisitions. All the things I have been up to this week. I won't be a moment. Sorry, I had to tell the boys to keep it down. They're getting a bit loud. They're watching the ice hockey, the Winter Olympics ice hockey between... Finland and Russian Olympic Committee for the gold medal. Reeves is a big ice hockey fan. His favourite team is, of course, the Canucks in Canada. I hope I pronounced that right. Yes, he has been a fan of them about as long as he has been a fan of the Rams. So, yeah, they're getting a bit loud in there, encouraging Finland to win. Anyway, guys, that is my yarn adventures for this week um i do have a few plans for next week i thought i might share them with you um i'm going i've been working on a tea cozy pattern a crochet pattern of my own um as a fundraiser for emma my little friend emma emma's quest emma turned 12 and her birth 12th birthday present was absolutely gorgeous her omi her grandmother arrived from Germany and it's been two years since she's seen her so she was over the moon at 12 years old she's turning into quite the young lady uh, so I've been working on that I'm planning to do a pattern from my pattern library stock I tend to buy patterns because I'm excited when I see them I download them and file them away and forget about them and I've decided to try and do some of those um, what else? Finish up an old whip if time permits. I still have some whips to get through. And that's about it. I don't know if I have time to achieve all that next week. What are your plans? What yarn or crochet plans or any plans you have? Leave a comment in the description below this video. I really like reading your comments and hearing what you're making and what you've been up to. So until next time. Take care, stay safe, and remember, you could have a yarn adventure making a tea cozy with me. Bye for now.